Okay, I'm going to show you how to do drag and drop with Adobe Flash using ActionScript 2.0. As you can see, I've got a layer for my rectangle and a layer for my ball. Uh, they're not symbols yet, so the first thing I need to do is I have to convert both of them to symbols. Now, some people might be thinking, well, I'm going to convert them to a button. Uh, and you have three choices, movie clip, button, or graphic. But we want to convert it to a movie clip for the drag and drop to work. If we convert it to a button, what will happen is we'll move everything on the stage, and we don't want to do that. So even though you can't see it there, I'm going to name it, and I'm going to convert it to a movie clip. Not a button, a movie clip. <laughs> Any second now, I'm going to click OK. We can move on. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing here to the rectangle. I'm going to speed up the film a little, so I don't want to keep you waiting too long. <clears throat> okay, now that we have um, our symbols, we need to add the action script. <clears throat> so I'm going to hit F9 on a PC, or well, you saw. Anyway, so what we need to do is I'm going to click, and sorry about the funky looking typing there, but eventually you can see it clears itself up. I want to have on press the open bracket there, start drag, and then in parentheses, this comma false, and then semicolon, and then close bracket. And that's gonna start the drag, obviously. And then uh, to stop the drag, I wanna leave that up there for a second, just in case you wanna see it. I wanna type on release, because that's the release of the mouse key. Open bracket, enter, stop drag this time, now, I'm not going to put any si anything inside the parentheses because I, I'm, I'm stopping the drag, so it already kind of knows what I'm working. Um, if you need to pause it here, go right ahead. Okay, so let's test it. And, uh, hey, it works, works great. <clears throat> so what I want to do now is I'm going to do the same thing, but for the rectangle. And uh, here we go. Okay, so it works really well. Uh, what I'm going to do now is, I don't like the order of it. Uh, by that, I mean, I'd like to put the ball on top of the rectangle, not the rectangle on top of the ball. This is really, really, really easy to do. If you see in my timeline, I'm just going to take the ball layer and move it on top, just like in Photoshop or in Illustrator, whatever, the layer order is important. And there, as you can see, my ball is on top of the layer. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.